Okay, well, today we are at the hospital shooting our science video on mycoplasmic pneumonia, and we got smoothies from McDonald's. We're going in the lab. Holy crap. Okay, today we are at the lab in the hospital, Sheboygan, and Andrew's going to get his blood drawn for uh, mycoplasmic pneumonia, and uh, we're going to test the antibodies in his blood. I'm Andrew's mom, I'm Tracy, I work here in the lab, so the first thing we're going to do in the test is to Andrew's blood. Well, the first thing we would do when we were drawing someone's blood is we would ask them their name and their date of birth. Okay. So tell me your name. Um, I am Andrew. I am Andrew Pope. So. Okay, and what's your birthday? August 21st, 1995. That's right. We have to make sure that we're drawing the correct patient. So, let's look at both arms here and decide which one we like the best. Probably this one, but that's what I said. So we're going to put the tourniquet on here first. So. Like that. Pinching my arm. It's supposed to. Fun man. <laughs> this is for not doing the dishes last night like I asked you to. I did do the dishes last night. <laughs> okay. Let's get a piece of tape. Back off. Okay. Yep. So the first thing we're gonna do is take some alcohol and clean off his arm. Yes. And we dry it with God. So we're only gonna draw one tube of blood today because we're just gonna do the one test. actually contain vacuum so they automatically fill. Is that new or the more last time you do a little butterfly? Yeah thing. there's more there's more than one way to draw blood. So blood's falling into the tube. Ouch. It. And I'm gonna <laughs> take the turn and get off. Oh, 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 you know, you're <laughs> there. Then we activate the safety oh, device so, bad. so okay. that we don't poke ourselves. That's cool. Okay, hold this down for me. How'd that feel? Awesome. My hands numb. And there's Andrew's good. blood in the tube. That's gross. Whoa. Before it clots, it's that... actually going to clot and then we're going to centrifuge it. Hmm. Okay. Neat. So, pause. Like this. And then we're going to take it down. Like that. See the tissue. Like this You're all done. This part. Hmm. Okay. Cool. Now what we would do is we would label the tube with Andrew's name. Okay. And we actually have the label for this is in the room where we're going to do the it. test. Okay. Sounds good. Okay, that is Andrew's arm after he got his blood drawn. And it's like a little bruised. It's just a little prick. Right here. Mm -hmm. Ow. Okay. Here's the tube of blood. We've actually labeled it with a barcode label. Look at the grocery store. Become a barcode. <laughs> and the tube has the blood is clotted. If I tip it, you can see how it doesn't move. It's actually clotted. That is cool. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna walk this tube over to the centrifuge. It's okay. A, the centrifuge yeah. is an instrument that spins the blood down really quickly. Uh -huh. And what will happen is, is the liquid portion or the serum part of Andrew's blood will go to the top of the tube. This gel part will go to the middle. Mm -hmm. and all the cells will sink to the bottom because we only want to do That's the test neat. on the liquid part. So you can see that you're going to be able to tell the difference between before and after. So what's the goop for? The goop is called serum separator. It separates the liquid portion of your blood from the cells. That's cool. Okay. Okay, let's go over to the Actually, yeah, you can take this. Right now we're going to a uh, biohazard area, this authorized lab. personnel yeah. only. This is the actual lab at the hospital. Oh, so it's cold in here. Oh, look at all those. This part of the lab is called Blood Bank. This is where the actual units of blood from Red Cross oh. come in. Frozen. Okay. Here's where we would, if you needed a transfusion, we would set up blood for you. Where's that one scary room? <laughs> scary room? Yeah, with all the bacteria and stuff. Oh, oh yeah. we're going there. Awesome. This is called Specimen Receiving, where all the tubes of blood come in that have been drawn. Mm -hmm. This right here is a center 
in the micro lab. <laughs> yeah, we have our own little sense of humor. This is an example of a bacteria that we can grow back here called E. coli. I'm sure oh, you've heard yeah. of it. It's in our everyone's gut. Yeah. This is what it looks like on a plate. Oh, nasty. Dude. If you hold it up to the light, it's called being hemolytic. Whoa. That's what bacteria looks like that on a plate. Neat. It smells bad. It does smell bad. This is called Pseudomonas. It's another gram-negative organism that we can grow back here. Hi, Mrs. Dykehouse. 